Hey everyone, Julian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Blush Response Style EBM. As usual, you can grab the full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, everything you just heard in the beginning of the video is available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that, it's the best way to make your tracks get to the next level today. You can also check out my lessons, track finishing, this production at the top of the description as well. Thank you so much for the support everybody, and let's dive in. Alright, so we're on 111 BPM, a little bit slower, but you know... Nice and groovy. We start here with a kick. Just a nice, punchy, fat, pretty much like a techno kick. And then we're just cutting a little bit of sub out of there so it's not too, like, whoop on the speakers. Then we have our sub bass. And this is the first thing I want to highlight. It's not just, like, these crazy... You know, we can talk about the crazy wavetable basses all day, but really, you know, the main core of this is that kick and this sub bass. You know, if those aren't dialed in, and if those aren't hitting, you really aren't gonna, like, all this other stuff doesn't really work. So, yeah, for that, it's just one note, right? It's just D, we're just really creating, like, a rhythm with that. We've got a triangle wave, and a sine wave in, in wavetable here. The sine wave is an octave up, so it kind of gives it a bit more fullness. And then we bring the amp envelope down like that. There's a little auto pin to make it bounce off the kick, and then cutting the subs, and then we have the main wavetable bass. So, it's all playing the same MIDI that you just saw. Basically what's happening is there's a bunch of different layers here, and then they're all going into some processing together. So, turning all that off, here's the first layer. So again, it's playing that same MIDI you just saw. We've got basically... This wavetable here where you can see we've got these two different wavetables and then they're both got their wavetable position. You can see it's put on that macro one, so it's moving those around. And then it's just got the auto pan to make it bounce off the kick. Then we've got this layer. So this is just this one wavetable. You can see it's kind of adding some more like mid-range and crunch, so if you play it with that other one. They layer together well and create something big. This one... So this one we got a bit of automation on the oscillator FM. And then an envelope on the filter. And the oscillator position. And then that same auto pan, then we got this layer. So kind of adding like something metallic. This is made with operator. So it's just a bunch of sine waves doing FM with these kind of like short punchy envelopes. You can see with this one we're doing the thing where the second oscillator is in a few octaves down from the main one. And see that's really where that metallic tone comes from. We've got a low pass with a sine shaper, a little bit of an envelope, some overdrive, auto pan, and then we're high passing it. And then the last final layer of that bass. So this is this operator patch again, just more FM with sine waves creating these like punchy kind of things. And then we've got a low pass filter with a hard shaper and an envelope. And then this LFO on the filter cutoff kind of randomly moving it. So see how when I play the whole mix that kind of adds like some random movement to this. And really brings it to life. We've got a bit of hybrid reverb some auto pan and then a high pass filter and then we have the group processing which starts with this redux which is being automated okay so here's just the redux just automating the rain on that we've also got an erosion with some automation just on those little transitions there we have the saturator Where we're automating the curve on those transitions. An amp. Kind of just crunches everything up even more. A little bit of OTT. And then a high pass. Because again, this needs to fit with that sub. 
So when you high pass them there, it just kind of all blends together really nice. So then we got the snare. So we're layering together this clap. Which you can see is going through a bit of pedal and some reverb. And we're layering that, yeah, with the snare. You can see the snare adds a lot of punch to it, right? Then we've got... So these are like these hi-hats I made with Collision. So it's this patch where it's the noise, and then this resonator too is also noise. And then you can see I've got it set like this. Obviously this is something you really gotta play around with. But we've got an LFO on the pitch envelope. So that's what's making it move around. If I turn that off, it's kind of like stagnant. We've got a little erosion. Here's without that. And with it, obviously helps make it sound like hi-hats and then a high-pass filter. Then we've got, so then we have these kind of like stabs down here. You know, just some little background sounds to contrast what's happening with like the main groove and kind of add a bit of depth. So this is this crazy metallic operator patch. It's just sine waves, again, doing that really crazy FM stuff with the envelopes and the higher octaves. And then we've got, yeah, just a little filter with an envelope. We have some chorus, overdrive, high pass, pretty simple. And then there's these two, which kind of play off of each other. And these are some samples. So the time and symbol has just got a little high pass on it so it doesn't clash with the sub. But for this sound, so it's this. Right, and then it's going through a bit of reverb, an overdrive, and then a high pass. And when you put it really low like that, especially, you get a cool sound. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much, everybody. Make sure to grab the project files, samples, MIDI, presets. It's all available at the top of the description on my website. Plus, my lessons, track finishing, ghost production. Again, all of this is a great way to take your career to the next level today. I promise I'll help you guys get to the next level, and these sounds will as well. Thank you so much for the support, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.